the game can see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. It's Dave Joha for the Boxing Voice with Dean White. How are you, Dean? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. What brings you to the uh, sunny Midlands? I've got, you know, I've got a few boxing uh, guys from Birmingham, so I uh, come to meet one of the Warrens if they're about, but you, it seems like who knows who's, if any of them's turned up. <laughs> yeah, so I thought we'll Frank see. would be here, but there's rumours that he's over in Vegas or... Possibly, possibly. Yeah, possibly over there for the... Was it New York, I think, for the uh, for the Frampton fight? Yeah. Not sure. Um, so, talk at the moment is that Dillian um, may be fighting on the undercard. Is a week to go now, is that... Is there any truth in this? Or? Well, it was the cat's out of the bag a little bit anyway, but yeah, he's on the, he's on the card. They haven't made an announcement just yet, but I'm sure any any second now they're gonna make an announcement. But yeah, he's definitely on the card. I think they're just negotiating the opponent kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I mean it'll keep him active. When was the last time it was against um, Riv Rivas? Rivas, yeah. yeah, over in April. I can't forget. July. The name. It's been such a long time, isn't it? Now? Yeah, July, summertime. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. How how is uh, how is Dillian? Is he he's in good right. spirits? He's, he's, he's in good good shape, man. He's been sparring all week. He's been looking good, looking sharp. Just happy to get back in uh, the mix, you know. Get a little run out. Get someone who's durable. Maybe he can do a few rounds. And uh, yeah, should be interesting. Good stuff. How's news on the? Um, are we all clear in terms of the for the uh, U card and everything like that? Is it? I all think good? there's uh, something. There's a still a matter to be um, heard, but I, you know, I don't know much about it. I'm sure he'll tell when he's got any news on that. You know. Brilliant. And uh, you said off camera you, you're flying out, aren't you? Is it on Sunday you're flying out? Or? Yeah, I think on the weekend. Obviously, we ain't confirmed today. Sunday, Monday, one of those days, uh, we're going to go out there. So we're definitely on the card. Uh, it's all, all a bit hush hush at the minute. I don't know. They haven't got a, an opponent. But like I said, when it's like this short notice, you know, it's not going to be anyone of, of, of note. But you know, it'll be, it'll be someone who'll be decent for him. Hopefully, to get a few rounds. You know what I mean? Have you been paying attention to this, um, to the weight losses of both fighters? Uh, AJ, he looks like he's yeah. slimmed down a lot. And yeah, Ruiz, yeah, yeah. is it good for him? Do you reckon? Or? Um, do you know what? There's there's two sides to it. Because even Ruiz mentioned it the other day. He said, look. The, the likelihood of Joshua being able to take the punches is good because he's lost the weight might be detrimental to him and it could be vice versa as well because Freddie Roach has said um, Andy Ruiz is never at his best when he loses too much weight so it's just a, an opinion from people but let's see come Saturday December the 7th who's going to be the man on job but Joshua looks like he's taking it serious less muscle so that means he's, he's less blood and oxygen to run his big old muscly body um, he's bringing some real good sparring partners to test him and push him it is a short short turnover June the 1st December the 7th six months he's bringing a new trainer Angel um, can it all be gelled together that quickly the likelihood is if you've seen in the past is it's very difficult for things to to gel that quickly but I don't think it's major adjustments he needs to make he just needs to understand listen Ruiz is a very very good fighter and he just doesn't need to be fighting a small man's fight and crouching down and exchanging in the middle like he was doing he just needs to keep it long and be able to hold you know hold for their life if necessary just get the win and move on but um I think I, I, I've noticed I think there was a I don't know if it was a wrestling wrestling coach he had but on his um was it his, um, I think his, his YouTube channel, I noticed they was working some drills with someone who seemed like they could have been a wrestling coach. I don't think they kind of gave a name, but they was working on pushing back and holding. So I guess he's kind of taken that on board because that's a, that was a big thing for him. When he got hurt, he didn't know how to hold mm. and um, he was all over the place and getting caught with big shots still. So let's see come December the 7th. I wish him the best. I want him to win, man. I want the UK to, to continue flying the flag, you know what I'm saying? So we've got some great fights here with my bro Dillian and Tyson Fury and even bring the... The, the bronze bomber over here, man, Car. Did you yeah. watch it over the weekend? I did watch it over the reckon? weekend. Um, he does what he does, isn't it, man? I've said this from before, man. He's got the equaliser, man. You could, you could, you could be winning like everyone seems to do against him. And like he said, all I need is two seconds to change the dynamics of the game, and it's true. Um, but Tyson Fury's been in there, managed to get off on not one but two occasions, and uh, prove. That, you know, there are people that can go the distance with him, but Tyson Fury is unique as well. He knows how to box, he knows how to use the distance, and uh, it's going to be interesting to get him when they fight. 
he done what he's meant to do. Ortiz, I think he stopped moving his head at that juncture because that's what I was paying attention to. I noticed he kind of just turned off because it was the last 10 seconds to the round. So he probably just got relaxed and thought he might not. He might just faint me and not do anything. But you see, when you start to stand still with Deontay Wilder, he lets the detonators go and then you saw what happened to that kid. He was uh, out of there. <laughs> and uh, since we last spoke as well, the WBC have been... Uh doing the, the franchise route yeah, up and, to and, 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 tricks, eh? and what, what do you reckon um, do you think it's it's justified can they justify that um, do you know what it's for me it doesn't really make much difference because before they they changed and put um, Tyson Fury as mandatory they already said that Dillian was going to fight 16 months later so it, it, they didn't need to um, change Tyson Fury that because that fight was already contracted those guys had already had that in place that he was going to fight next so just one of them. I don't, it, it was just unnecessary for me. But listen, it is what it is. What do I know? Those guys do do as they please, and uh, they're the governing bodies, and that's just what it is. Brilliant, Dean. All the best, mate, from the uh, the boxing voice. Happy travels much, to uh, to, uh, to Saudi Arabia. Hopefully, yeah, uh, you watch a good fight and uh, Dillian gets an opponent soon. Take yeah, care, mate. Thanks for enjoying the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers or promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace